What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today Apple has released macOS Sequoia 15.5 to everyone. Now let's get started, and I'll show you what is new. Alright, so the first one will be a change that a lot of people are happy about. First change has to do with the all mail button. So as you can see right here, the all mail button is hidden right here. And before, it would just show these four buttons, and that is it. In order to get to all mail, now all you gotta do is click right here. This just shows you the all mail. Of course, you can still disable categories. Now, along with that, Apple has updated this quite a bit, and now you can easily show your contact photo. So before, you have to go into the view button to show your contact photo. Now all you gotta do is click on these three dots, and you can also see what categories are about. So it shows you this pretty nice UI right here. It just tells you everything categories are about, and it's just really nice and dandy. All right, now the next change has to do with system settings. So if you were to scroll down and go all the way to General and then Apple Care Warranty, you're going to see this page has been completely redesigned right here. So you're going to think it looks different, but it looks the same. So the first thing they changed is they added this Apple Care and Warranty section up here that tells you what Apple Care and Warranty is about. And you're going to see that the corners are more rounded here. And show more, it just shows more as expected. And if you were to click on these right here, you'll see this looks a little bit different as well. You also notice that this get support button is brand new here. So if you need support for your MacBook, for example, or your iPhone, you'll be able to press the get support button. It will go straight to Apple support. So you'll see it just seems very different and it is not really nice, to be honest, I don't think. The only thing I can see that is nice is this Apple Care warranty section up here. However, it is also pretty un inconsistent. For example, if you were to go into the Control Center settings or Apple Intelligence settings, you'll see that it is a lot bigger here compared to going into here, where it's just a lot smaller and it takes a lot longer to load. So unfortunately, this is kind of a nerf. Also, this uses web UI instead of Swift UI like the rest of the settings does and what the old Apple Care warranty section was. Kind of weird that Apple would take this approach. But well, I guess I want to keep this page as up to date as possible, so they just load a little web page in here into the loading Swift UI. Now the next change is a little bug fix that I personally have been having because I use a 1080p display. So 1080p displays would have this Apple Intelligence and Siri section cut off. I'll have a little screenshot of what it looks like, hopefully. And basically, it would just show Apple Intelligence and dot dot dot. It would not fit Siri here at all. So how Apple would fix this is that they would make this sidebar bigger if the settings are appropriate to it. For example, if you have a mouse and connect it to a 1080p display, it just now shows Apple Intelligence and Siri, which is really nice that Apple has fixed that. It looked really bad, and I'm kind of surprised they fixed it now instead of before, but at least it got fixed. The next change has to do with screen time. We got a little screen time change in here, something that parents will be happy about, but if you're a kid, you probably will be a little bit sad or a little bit mad to hear about this. It is, if you were to enter a screen time passcode and you have a parent link to your screen time account, your parents will now get notified whenever your screen time passcode is successfully guessed. So before, if your screen time password was successfully guessed, your parents will now know if they have macOS 15.5 or iOS 18.5 on their devices, they'll immediately get notified once your screen time was bypassed. So maybe don't try bypassing screen time. And if you want to know if your screen time gets compromised, just update to macOS 15.5 and you'll immediately get notified here in the notification center as soon as screen time gets bypassed. All right, that is everything here inside of macOS 15.5. I have macOS 15.5 installed on my primary MacBook and I want to tell you, the experience has been pretty good. In fact, I say it's a lot better, than, maybe not a lot better than 15.4 but i overall feel a very big improvement compared to 15.4 and i think you will as well now if you were bored with this update let's talk about when the next set of features will be coming out so i think the next set of features is not really going to be any brand new features so to say i think it's going to be just a minor little update just to patch out any remaining bugs if there are any inside of mac os sequoia and i think we'll get that first beta here on the 13th if the software did not come out on the 13th it usually comes out a day after and then i think we're going to get the second beta here on this week right here if apple does not choose to release it on this week 
Now, if Apple does choose to release the next betas on this week, you're not going to get another beta. Oh, yeah, you could get a beta here as well. But don't really expect any new features for Mac OS 15.6 anymore. Apple just wants to wrap things up with Mac OS Sequoia. Move on to Mac OS 16 here on June 9th, 2025. So I will be live streaming my reaction to Apple's announcement for Mac OS 16 here on June 9th. So be subscribed for the live stream. And I'll be going into deep dive coverage into Mac OS 16. I will, however, be taking a break with Mac OS 15.6. So you won't be seeing any macOS 15.6 on this channel, only macOS 16, and I'll be taking a break from here. Anyways, thanks for watching. Come like, subscribe, share with your friends. Got my apps, Willy Widgets, and Willy Study down in the description down below. If you have finals, of course, it will make your life a lot easier. And take a look at the iOS video here on the screen right now, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!